Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to convert audio to MIDI here using Melodyne. Now in this example, I'm going to start here in Studio One. Why? Because we're going to use audio random access technology. It's uh, pioneered by Celemony to really speed things up. In fact, I'll show you exactly how. Let's take a quick listen to this little demo idea I've been working on. I'm going to solo the acoustic guitar here. Now, let's say we want to convert this to MIDI so we can use it to trigger a virtual instrument to add some musical ele elements to this uh, demo idea. I'm going to select it and you can come up to your menu bar and choose Edit with Melodyne. Or you could use Command M and it'll convert it as easily and as quickly as that. Now, if you know anything about Melodyne, conventionally, you would have to wait for this transfer to happen in real time. But with Audio Random Access technology, it happens that fast. So what we're looking at here is the acoustic guitar. Take a listen. Now, here's my first power tip for you. Everything you see here, every one of these bits of data is going to be assigned a MIDI note and that's the problem. Most people just convert it and then assign it and then it sounds like a big mess. We just want to assign MIDI notes to the musical data. So down here we have this audio. I'm going to select this and actually let's do this. Let's select this range. I'm going to press backspace, delete it and I just want to hear what is this stuff. Now, if you're listening very closely, and I recommend using headphones, that's the picking sound on the string. It's an element, a, a part of that music, and it's really important. But we don't want to convert that to MIDI, because it's just going to junk things up. So let's select that now, choose Backspace, and get rid of it. That's one way to do it. Or another way is here under our settings. I'm going to choose the monkey wrench icon, and we're going to use our Venetian blinds trick. We're going to scroll down. I'm going to tell Melodyne anything above that note is an overtone. And anything below this, I don't want to convert it to MIDI either. I just want the notes themselves. And when you're done, choose the icon and you're back. And if you want to delete a couple of other little things, you can spot fix them like this. And some of this stuff, spot fix it like this. And now we just have the audio content. Take a listen. It sounds the same because all of that stuff was reassigned that we converted back into this part where it belongs. It's just not going to get a MIDI note. So remember, anything you see will get a MIDI note here. Now this is going to be a really good uh, audio to MIDI conversion. So I want to now create an instrument track, let's say. And under our track, we're going to choose instrument track. And here it is right here. Now if I drag this down, our MIDI data is now here on that instrument track. I can double click it here in Studio One and there we can further edit that MIDI data. Now let's throw on a virtual instrument. Let's go to our instruments and pick one and it's going to trigger this and play along with this. Uh, let's pick up something really fun. All right, let's try this one. Now you're going to hear the acoustic guitar and the MIDI guitar here, the MIDI, I'm sorry, the MIDI audio converted uh, at the same time. This is what I call a nice, clean conversion. Why? Because we did the work in advance. I showed you how to take this audio and clean it up prior to your MIDI conversion, and that is the most important step there. Now you can have a little bit of fun. Let's hear this in the mix. And now you can actually scroll through some of these in real time. Let's do Music Box, for example. I don't know what this is going to sound like, but let's have some fun. And that's how you convert audio to MIDI here using audio random technology. You see how quickly we can actually select a track. And I'm going to use a keyboard command here on my Mac, for example. It works great on Windows. Uh, command M. And now we have this track here converted to Melodyne as well, that fast. Mm -hmm. 
And you can see here in the left hand column, here's our picking guitar. Yeah. And here's our strumming guitar. And to see them both at the same time, I'm going to hold command and bring them both in. For some group audio editing, if that's what you want to do. But if you were to convert all of this to MIDI, it would sum this. So keep that in mind. Yeah.